Good afternoon. This is Gino's show. I have a, an individual that is going to be able to, kind enough to tell me a story, okay? Because this is Gino's story, actually. Okay, my John, right? Yes, John. Would yep. you be kind enough to uh, pronounce your last name? It is Bowles, B O W L E S. Bowles. He, he claimed that I didn't say it right, so it's I told him to one. say himself. <laughs> okay, okay, John, okay. The reason that I brought you here is because I was concerned when my wife says to me, Honey, can you have my car paint on just on the top? And I came to you, and you were mm -hmm. kind enough. We made the arrangement, went, went to leave it. Uh, I left it there, and uh, when it was done, I went by, and he says, has the car done? He says, yes, only needs a little washing. And the gentleman that I was doing there, his name is Steve, very nice gentleman. I says, okay, I'll be back when it's done. And the following day, I went by, and I, and I pick up the car, and my wife looked at it, and he says, wow, he did a good job. Well, and that's you. why I say to myself, is an individual just trying to make a living because I knew his father. His father l gave him the opportunity to proceed with the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's very, very lucky. And he, he claimed that uh, he's doing his best. And I say he does more than his best because uh, everybody that go there, I hear they're very happy. So he's going to tell me a story how this happened. Okay, John, you tell me something. So, Concrete. <laughs> so this, this all happened when um, my father started the business probably about 32 years ago. Um, he worked for another company. They, they let him go from that company, and he started on his own. Started on his own with $200. Uh, this is the story that I heard from, from my parents. So they st he started the company out of a one-car garage with $200 and an air compressor. How do you like that? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So started it off, kept it going, kept it going, all this. This was right after they were married, too. Okay. So that must have been tough, having all the marriage bills and, and you know, how oh, everything, yeah. all that goes. And right after that, and uh, built it up year after year after year after year after that. And uh, he was probably one of the largest, one of the largest places in Lowell for a good five or six years for a while. And uh, obviously something happened with the building that they had there. They had to sell the building. And then we ended up in Littleton. And ever since then, we um, going at it, just going at it and doing growing. the best we can, growing. growing and um, making everything, you know, make You're doing the best we can with what and we had. The customers are very happy because I know yeah. a lot of people that come and they, they talk to me because I'm, I'm there in Littleton for 42 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we converse, converse and, and we go from one uh, conversation to another and it comes, oh, Gino, I got my car painted, you know? I say, how do you, do you like it? I say, you did a beautiful job. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So I get good, good you know what I mean? They, they, they have faith in me that I don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. And they, they say, I says, I would recommend anybody because uh, and then I end up having my wife's car, and yeah. she was happy. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. So now, continue with the story. So, uh, when we moved into Littleton, everything was, uh, you know, normal. Everything was normal at first. It was, a little, you know, he was a little bit. You know, I was younger. I was definitely a lot younger. Um, you obviously like well, when you open up a business anywhere new you don't know anything that's going around there yeah. you don't know everybody you don't know how the town works yes and um i, I think it was a i think it was a, a a good move on his part for going to where he did because the growth in that town from what it was to what it is now is a huge difference uh there was there was a big change when uh obviously they're putting building all kinds of things in the right. town you can't you know you can't find land anywhere else because this where the basically everybody's already bought it up because they want to build it up as much as they possibly could right yeah. and in a good way yeah. but in a good way there's it's there's a lot of expansion to where um it's a good place to have a family and bring in all, all these other businesses you know I'll, there should be a lot more it's a 
it's a big town for small businesses, and I think it's a good thing as well because not a lot of towns are like that. Yeah. A and lot of towns will bring in these giant franchises, and the town will be wiped out. And right, then it's right. you know no small business for the but for the young guy. Littleton is still growing. Remember that. Absolutely. Yep. We have almost ten thousand people there. Yep. I think it's I think it's the good way that they set it up. Yes. And um, and they're nice people. You know, I mean, not that I don't say that everybody is nice. Yeah, everybody, they're nice people. Very I mean, much, very much. The old area, you know, yep. Westford, Acton, Littleton, yep. Ayer, you know, all those small towns, really very nice, you know. It's a good community. It's, yeah. all, it's, all, it's all a good community. Um, it's a good way to put it. it. It's nice how they have it all set up. It's, it's, it, there's not too much. Right, right. Where it's still kind of growing. You know, it's still growing, but at the same time, it's it's at that where it's not too much. Mm. It comes to a level. Yes, that that's what I think is the best part of it. Yeah. And it's still almost like you can go and do family stuff if you have kids, and yeah. you know there's there's still kind of a nightlife a little bit, um, but it's getting better and better every year. I think yeah. we have more home. Even at the at the IBM, they're going to convert it to a apartment and they're going to put stores on the bottom Yep. Know? really everything, everything i think it's good for the area it's good for for Littleton. yes and i'm very proud of it mm -hmm. and the people's nice and uh, and everybody's trying to help there's a lot of volunteer that engage yep. to the town to help the town and we do all volunteer work that means we don't get paid yep. you know we do because we like the area and we like the people that's what makes good people in the world yeah. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And you understand that. Yeah. 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 I always try to help out wherever I can, and especially when yeah. in the town they asked me wanted to do this and do that. I always try to help out because in the end everybody's going to help each other out. That's it. That's what we do in in mm -hmm. this area. Yes, we yeah. do that. But um, I'm, I'm so proud of you that you get engaged to the business, mm -hmm. and your father should be proud. Well, because, thank you. Because uh, you're doing well. Thank you. You know. I'm just and trying to build on uh, what he built off of. Yeah. So I have I have some big shoes to fill, and you sure could do. Yeah. So the just going with that, and I just trying to better everything that's around me. And if anybody wants to come on board, come on board, because the, the more great minds together, the better off everything's going to be. That is true. That is true. Yeah. I uh, I'll find out in uh, several months. Then I'll. I might bring you back and uh, you tell me another story. All right. Don't blame me for the people comes and they say, can I have my car paint? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We'll try, we'll, we'll try to fit everybody in like we always do. Yeah, yeah that is really something. Yeah, and yeah you thank a, you for coming to us. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I had no choice. I mean, Littleton people trying mm -hmm. to, you know, mingle with business in little that's good i think it's you know? very good that's yeah. what i enjoy the most about it because everybody keeps it in the communities and that's what actually really matters in the end right. of the day not that we don't like anybody else we we, <laughs> we travel we go here we go there we do we buy different things in different places too but concentrate we concentrate on little first absolutely i agree i and think that's uh, a good way to look at it everybody has uh, the same idea that i have they're nice people and we like to help them and uh we are very lucky to have uh, uh, nice people in this area. Absolutely, you I know? agree. So uh, I will bring you back in a mm -hmm. couple months. Okay. Okay, you promise? Right. Yeah, it sounds good. I'll be back, that's no problem. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry that the, the story is short, <laughs> but nevertheless, maybe next week I'll bring somebody else that uh, wants to tell me a story. Uh, I wanted to say thank you for watching Gino's show. And I hope to see you next week, probably. And let's see what happens. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching the show. God bless. <laughs>